concept of coastal protected areas right now uh, the main objective of coastal protection is management of natural marine habitats it includes uh, the intertidal zone the intertidal ka matlab kya hota hai intertidal means yes between high tide and low tide isko littoral bhi bolte hain protection of intertidal zones protection of subtidal zones this is the areas which are below the low tides like okay, up to a depth of 6 uh, meters up to a depth of 6 meters is called as subtidal zones along with the surrounding waters along with the surrounding waters and the associated life forms uh, next point under the iucn under the iucn these are referred to as marine protected areas mpa they called as marine protected areas in india these include marine national parks such as a uh, pirotan island p i r o t a n pirotan island ye gulf of kutch mein hai gulf of kutch pirotan p i r o t a n pirotan island gulf of kutch aur ek hai labyrinth island l a b r y n t h labyrinth islands marine national park ye andaman islands ka part hai part of andaman islands so it includes marine national parks and also marine biosphere reserve india mein ek hi hai marine reserve gulf of mannar gulf of mannar is the only marine biosphere reserve theek hai this is part of the coastal protected areas aur ek objective ye hai the objective is under the iucn that uh, about 30% of 30% of the oceans should be marine protected areas by 2030 30% of the oceans should be mpas by 2030 theek hai so that's uh, for this much the next ha dono aayega when we talk because this is important for fisheries so conservation jab baat ho rahi hai it's always moves on towards management because ye areas fisheries ke liye important hai and lot of livelihood of the local farmers also so most of them are preserved not as okay the core areas of bass reserve as any hota hai theek hai the fishing is included you can add this point that marine protected areas marine protected areas include the livelihood concerns of local populations livelihood concerns of local populations because these areas are rich these areas are rich fish breeding zones and high productivity zones these are areas of high productivity isliye fishing in some kind of regulated way is part of the objective fishing is part of the objective theek hai next sacred grooves of india sacred grooves of india these are groups of uh, trees natural flora or forests that are devoted to the regional communities and their folk and traditional beliefs that are devoted to regional communities their folk f o l k folk and religious beliefs these areas have these areas have religious significance these areas have religious significance and are protected by local communities and are protected by local communities next one most of these are most of these are tracts of virgin forests rich in biodiversity and are protected under wildlife act 1972 india has numerous such tracts and they have been important for meeting local needs as a fuel wood grazing and minor producers that do not include timber extraction that do not include timber extraction in the wildlife act amendment 2002 in the wildlife act amendment 2002 they have been included under community reserves they have been included under 
community deserves. And uh, you can always add here that uh, these forests are, however, encroached upon. These forests are, however, encroached upon because of urbanization and development. Because of urbanization and development. Or kuch data liklo. Uh, Keral has the highest numbers. Keral may more than 1500 sacred groups. Hai. 1500. Keral has more than 1500. Maharashtra has more than 1600. Karnataka, 1400. 1500 is the 4-5,000 sacred groups in India. Mein. Keral, approximately 1500. Maharashtra, 1600. Karnataka has 1400. West Bengal 670, Chhattisgarh 600, Andhra Pradesh 750, Andhra Pradesh 750. Now, this doesn't make sense. Uh, just have an idea what they are. So when they asked about forest conservation, is make paragraph add kar dena, that India must protect its sacred grooves also. Next, uh, all the protected areas, all the protected areas are covered under all the protected areas are covered under Wildlife Act 1972. Wildlife Act 1972. Next, uh, some of these are part of global protected area networks that includes World Network of Biosphere Reserves. That includes World Network of Biosphere Reserves.